Well guys, we've uh, made one upgrade, which was the new media. Now it's time to upgrade the biofilter. If you guys remember, we got this five gallon bucket here we use as a biofilter. Um, what I've been able to do is, I found this. It's a 10 gallon drum. Very much like this 55 gallon, this 50 gallon drum here. And it will replace that five gallon bucket. And that is my project for today. And my goal is to double the biologic surface area inside the biologic, um, the biofilter. And to do that, we need to double the amount of capacity. So here we go, first step. We found the new bucket. Now we're going to have to clean out the old one and move all the media from that into this. Alright, first step is to make it possible for the water to flow into the system. So, take the hole saw, drill a hole. Now this one and a half inch pipe will fit in here. Okay, then we will drill a hole in the side to allow the outflow. All right, next is cleaning out this. Now if you take a look, I'm not sure how good this shows up, but this is really gross. And you see how much filtration we've got already, and this hasn't been too long. But the goal is, I'm going to get these sponges out, and I'm going to layer the old sponges with the new ones so we have a faster colonization of the bacteria. But I have to get this cleaned out and you see what a mess this is now. So, let's get to cleaning. Now, as you guys see, this is the old And I've got a bunch of these. Some of you guys may be wondering why I use this instead of, well, they've got the, the other, uh, we all see the stuff, the floating, moving bed media, all of that stuff. And that's all well and good. The thing is, I can get one tiny box that is about the same surface area as this sponge here, this package. That one little box would cost more than all of these combined. Very expensive here. So, this stuff works, I'm going to use it. It's uh, cheaper, it works. You don't have to spend a fortune every time. You find something that gives you high surface area. This stuff does, and gives you a place for the bacteria to colonate. That's what it does. So, we're going to layer it, like lasagna. We've got a layer of this, the old stuff, and I'll put a bunch of this on, the new. Then I'll bring some more old, put it on top, and then some new, and back and forth, back and forth. Alright guys, it's all done. Right now it's just a matter of fill. We got the water coming in. You can see what we've got in here. Now water comes in, goes down this, has to start from the base, come all the way up before it can come through here. So what this is doing is we've now doubled the amount of biological surface area for this reaction. Therefore, we should double the amount of waste we can process in a short time. Hopefully, that's exactly what will happen. But, all done. This 10-gallon bucket here is really nice to have. It's, you know, I didn't want to have a big, huge thing like this, but that 5-gallon bucket just wasn't enough. So, just to give another quick, you take a look. The tomato here, this is the tomato that had all the seeds, or all the roots on it. It looks good. The celery's perked up. Uh, but it's only been a couple days, so it's going to take a little time. There we go, guys.